well welcome back with you today we have this site where we have an issue the nokia air scale you see we have inverted cells g9 j18 l uh, u21 l21 this the rfm which has this issue you see both the LT, WCDMA, G3 and G cells are impacted. These are 2100 to 1800 to 21. So let's check the alarm. So this is the alarm TXS of the order. So ideally you have to replace this RFM. Yeah, that's the only known solution. So let's open this uh, here and see. It normally behaves, it freezes kind of sometimes. Here are the instruction how to clear that alarm. Reset the hardware unit. If the problem continues at one step, we ahead, we perform replace RF unit. In case so the only thing here we can do is to, it is to replace it. There is no short cut because the re had reset, uh, reset was done, but uh, didn't help. So if you we go back here, the site was already locked. As you can see here, it's locked. Locked. But it's only 4G which is locked, so we can lock this module here and uh, do lock, click, this window will pop up lock and click lock so that we can proceed with the replacement. After uh, recovering the one, we will hoist the other one, the new one, install power it, load the, the software and site will be back on air. Yeah. So, so let's see. And the locking is ongoing. After successful lock, you will see unlock. And that's how you can be able to, you can be sure to tell whether the the locking was successful. And there we go. It's completely locked. So we are safe to proceed. And before that, eh, before I do anything, I'll have to take the backup. Let me take the backup just to be on a safer side. So I'll uh, come to parameter editor to load. It's loading, it's a bit slow. Because I'm doing the rec uh, screen recording uh, at the same time I'm using Chrome, and we all know that uh, Chrome is resource intensive. So, wait. So, we come to it, uh, loaded, we come here is the tab that we need so we take a full backup full configuration and do save You will see it uh, being downloaded.
and uh, yeah the download is complete and we can confirm that by checking here the, the downloads and we have this one here so that is confirmed downloaded and by the way if you like this content keep subscribing and sharing so that uh, you cannot be you will not be left behind now we have replaced the modular up on the tower and you can see we have the incompatible software so we have to update the software so that the new module can match the software with the existing uh, software which is this one here so we do software update software we browse and we navigate to where our software is like this case is in instant files uh, we have Nokia and we want this one 18.134 this is 22R3 open it is checking the software file software check is done so we can start with the with the upgrade RFM will restart and we will be able to check the cells whether the cells are restored after this so it will run all the way from zero as you can see to a hundred percent then we'll have a stage where the software will be activated and remember the impacted uh, equipment here will be the only one module whose software does not match the current BTS software so it's normal for it to stay at zero for some few minutes like two minutes and then it will just rush to 100% and then we'll have, uh, activation will go through and we'll be able now to tell whether our site the impacted cells have been restored and you if you like uh, this type of content kindly remember to subscribe liking sharing so that we can beat this algorithm and uh, you'll be notified whenever we update uh, we update anything in our youtube channel as you can see the software is 100 percent now activation is ongoing <laughs> After activation, the RRH AHC will restart and the software will be activated and then now it will be in a position of carrying traffic and that's our goal, to restore the impacted traffic. Just give it some time and activation is completed now the module will restart you see here impact uh, un, uh, impact module is uh, okay activation completed impact module unit so module is the RRH module unit is the, now the RRH and uh, if I had a camera that have shown you that the, those optical ports have gone down as the in, uh, the module is restarting. Come here, side view, and here we'll be able to tell now when our uh, our cells are restored. 
Let me post this one. So this is the status now. We can go ahead and block and block this module here. Let's unblock, unlock, and see how it will behave. You see, unlocking is ongoing. Let's see the final stage that will be there after unlocking. Now, after unlock, now you see the cells have been restored, as you can see, apart from this one minor alarm here, uh, which you need to check and know what is there, so let me check for what, for VSWR, because we have interfered with the jumpering. So I'll select all the RF modules. But the one I was working on was uh, R mode 4. So our attention will be in R mode 4. This one. So I've only selected up to R mode 4. the values the 1.4 that's the first overshoot so it will stabilize so for R mode 4 <coughs> save R mode 4 R mode 4 and then agree with it for the entire module 1.4 1.4 So this is antenna 1 which will stabilize because actually it's due to this alarm here uh, if 
Fifty comma one thousand. There is this one I'm waiting for. Management. We have this alarm here. So, and that is it. We have restored the service. All the cells are up. And if you like this content, 